losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need we're going to weigh the scales of unlocking versus straight up hacking this bad boy. Where I fly all the time, there is a blue zone. If you're not familiar with blue zones, those are like virtual walls. Push through, push, 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 push. Bang. And it says on my screen here, aircraft at unauthorized zone, boundary unlocking license obtain land and enable license so i'm pushing i'm pushing it just won't go now what does it take to unlock that's the question of the day you've seen the wall in action it's a real thing it's a virtual wall but it really exists this is a virtual wall by dji it tells you it's an authorization zone you can't fly anywhere within this blue area or even take off anywhere within this blue area unless you have authorization you can get the authorization from an app like Kitty Hawk, also known as Alof now. I made a video about that. Check that here, how to apply and unlock. You can get that done within seconds right on your phone. So that's a breeze. DJI doesn't know that you have permission, right? So you have to, t you have to go to their website and tell them, hey, I have permission. If you don't, you'll just hit this wall and then you're done. Now, all of this might not even be a consideration for you because you might be living in a place where you don't have any of these zones. Maybe you're not in a, con a condensed area like where I am and you don't have to deal with these things. So unlocking is not even an issue for you or much less even think about hacking. But apart from this, I travel a lot and I go to South America a lot. And a lot of the times I film by a racetrack and that track has an airport next to it, unfortunately, and it's miserable to get this thing unlocked and going. Maybe you're like me, you travel a lot and you just don't want to deal with the headache. And basically it just, it just surrounds the airport over here. That's the runway there, LaGuardia, which is a pretty busy uh, international airport. This red zone, forget about it. You can't even take off in these red zones unless you have spe special written consent by the airport and then you have to submit that to DJI and it becomes a process. So forget the red zones. I'm just talking about the blue. You'll have to go to DJI's Fly Safe site. It's called flysafedji.com unlock. You have to give DJI your email. You have to log into your account. You have to give them the serial number of your drone and they will automatically send that information once it's approved, of course. They usually approve it within seconds. But that information is online here. DJI will take that information and send it to the DJI Fly app. So when you power your drone up next time when you reach that location and you're ready to fly, don't expect everything to automatically go from the internet into your drone. It just doesn't work like that. So what you actually have to do is start the drone up, turn on the DJI Fly app on your phone, right? And then when you go to start the drone up to take off, it's going to prompt you that you're in one of these zones. You're going to have to plug in your phone. For me, it's a USB-C because I'm using Android. Open up the DJI Fly app, plug up power on your controller, get ready to fly. And then when you're about to take off, you need to plug it into your goggles here. So it's USB on your goggles to USB-C on your phone if you're an Android phone or USB-C to Lightning if you're using an iPhone with the DJI Fly app. Now, once you've done that, you've got to go to profile, go to settings at the bottom here and then scroll down to where it says unlock GeoZone. Click unlock GeoZone. And then under here, the license that you put on the computer here will automatically be sitting there. DJI will put it from there onto there. And then you hit import. And that's basically how you import the license. And the license will go from the Fly app into the cable, into the goggles, from the goggles, into the drone. Once it says unlocking successful, then you're pretty much ready to go. But then you're not done there. These batteries don't last that long. You've got to come back and swap batteries. When you come back and swap batteries and you go to take off again, 
and you hit that blue wall again, you will get blocked again, unless you plug the cable back into your goggles and then back into your phone for the DJI Fly app. Now you don't have to go through and import the license again, but you have to plug in and make that connection and then take off and fly through the zone and then you can unplug it again. I'll leave a link in the description section to somebody who already made a video showing you step-by-step -step how to unlock. Now I've heard some iPhone users say, I don't have that problem. I can plug into my phone in the field and unlock in the field. I don't need to come to my computer and do all of this. To make matters worse, when you do get permission on your computer here from the unlocking zones, it only lasts like two or three days and then you have to come back every two or three days and do it. But I found an alternative and this alternative is a one-time deal that you have to do and then you never have to worry about unlocking it. I have found this website called Drone Hacks. Now, not only do they have the unlocking for the DJI FPV racer, as I've selected down here, they also have it for all these different types of drones. Now, I haven't, I'm a big, huge Air 2S fan. Why haven't I done it with my Air 2S drone? Because the firmware needs to be dialed back and DJI won't allow me to dial back the firmware. However, the firmware on this bad boy does allow you to dial back. So if you come to the, to the hacking site over here, click DJI FPV Racer. This is the firmware that they recommend 1.02.00. With that, you can unlock and remove the altitude zones. So no fly zones and altitude zones and altitude zones will be removed. Both of these can be unlocked, but you need to be on this firmware. So now comes the next step. But fortunately with this type of hack, you only do it once. You go to your computer, you have to download an app called DJI Assistant 2 DJI FPV series. Once you've downloaded that to your computer, you turn your drone on. Yep, still to this day, I love that sound. Oh very aggressive plug the cable into your computer and then into your drone this is the way I update my drone by the way I always prefer to update my drones through DJI using cables so now here we go DJI FPV drone pops up you can open it up and see what firmware you are on zero v1020020 it says currently but it will allow me to downgrade a firmware when you check the release notes all it did is optimize flight safety what the heck is optimized flight safety pretty much sounds like they just blocked me out they didn't do anything important to the camera they didn't increase the rates they did nothing substantial in this update so i don't mind downgrading Apart from that, they allow me to downgrade if I hit this button to V0102000. And if I go back to the hacks website, it says this is the one. 0102000. So it's perfect. If I go to the firmware that I'm on right now, when I close this and I go to my DJI website, it says 0102.000. All I need to do is hit downgrade. Once I've downgraded, then I can purchase this for the $40. Uh, Dronehacks.com, did you say remove altitude limit and no fly zones? Hmm, got you hooked up via cable. Yes, I say hack it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down myself.
all alone, that's okay People like it stand man They don't want me to change Keep me where I'm standing I don't wanna be where I am I want something more, take a chance It could be possibly my last dance My last dance I don't wanna let myself to download an app like Aloft and get permission to fly in these blue zones and these yellow zones and these um, orange zones as well. The DJI has because it's the right thing to do and it's the legal thing to do. So make sure you do that too. And I should be giving my spotter a call and telling her, come back to the car. Yeah, uh, before I get in trouble <laughs> for not saying anything. All right, I will catch you guys back at the computer. There you have it, the hacking works beautifully. Now I can fly anywhere I want and you can too, if you choose to. I will also leave a full link in the description how to do this hack for the no-fly zone. So when you go to the description section, the first video will be unlocking in detail. The second video will be hacking step-by-step -step in detail. So you can do either one of them. I hope this video was helpful. And by the way, this is the last time you're going to see this drone like this. I've got a rain suit, which I'm going to put on. With that being said, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when I release new DJI FPV videos. Consider being a Patreon, and I will catch you guys whenever I can. Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel, and there's benefits. Last Mini 2 went all the way to the UK. Yeah.